Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison 123, where the truth will be told. Get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation. Love yourself, live your absolute best life, and make sure that you get a good laugh on every single day. Hello, my Pisces. Hello, Cross Watchers. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the support, and I appreciate the emails. I just want to say this. You do. You never have to apologize for writing a lengthy email to me. I appreciate that. I love the fact that you all give me so much feedback. Um... Thank you for letting me into your life. Uh, you do not have to be apologetic about writing a, you know, a very long email. Like I do not mind and I try to respond to everybody. I read them all. So just give me a moment if it takes me a while to get back to you. Um, but I appreciate you guys so much for that, for that, um, that feedback and just in letting me into your life and letting me, you know, letting me know that the readings are definitely resonating and, um, and you're using them as guidance to sort of navigate through your problems, some of your problems in life. And I love that. I absolutely love that. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have invoked Archangel Michael, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael, uh, and to this reading, so we can go ahead and get started and we are going to find out what is going on. And I lit some Palo Santo and uh, before, you know, so I could do my meditation and everything over the readings. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and get started, Pisces. I love you all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. So the first one is the Two of Cups, Pisces. It looks like you have some sort of like offer or somebody wants to make you an offer. Um, this could be somebody, of, uh, it could be a water sign or it can be like a Leo or something like a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, it could also be someone um, who is a Leo or have that in their in their energy like somebody wants to come in and be romantic with you and offer like some sort of like cup of love or they want to reunite this could be somebody from your past who you had some sort of like i'm um, falling out with maybe you all like there was some sort of like issues between you two and it looks like um if you can see in the background of this card there's a lighthouse there. And so somebody could be, you know, trying to find their way back to you, wanting to light that fire again, like trying to find like that light in your relationship through so much darkness that you all had experienced. Um, they want to see growth with you. And I, that's just the energy that I'm getting that they really do want to see some sort of things that like change between you two. Okay. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles, but it came out in reverse. So this person could be in like some sort of like, um, in financial restraint, like loss of something, like they lost something, like they feel like they don't have enough. Um, and that's, and that could be one of the things where they feel like, you know, they just don't have enough to offer you in this relationship. Um, or Pisces, you could have been facing like some financial woes or some sort of like feeling like you lost some things as well. But it's something about loss, something about feeling like, you know, you don't have enough. You know, those opportunities aren't there. That financial support isn't there. Some sort of like abundance was not there. Or this person could really feel like they just, they were didn't measure up. They just didn't have enough to offer you. They could feel like you're sort of out of their league or something. That's just the energy that I'm get, getting seven of cups and they also could really feel like that you have a lot of options Pisces like um like some you know that you they are just like one of many or something like that like that that they just really feel like that you aren't really as focused on them as they want you to be they want you to only have eyes for them and they don't feel like that that is something that you're doing right now they feel like your your focus is somewhere else and your focus could be on your money maybe you took a financial loss or something um or something isn't coming in as fast as you wanted it to come in so they're focused on love and it looks like you're focused on something else but they they feel like you have a lot of other options you're up 
attention isn't on them. Um, you're, you're so, it's like they feel like you're distracted or something like that with other things or other people. And then we have the four of um, the four pentacles in reverse. So Pisces, I get the feeling that this person could be sort of like, like really reckless with their time, their money or something like they aren't good at money management or time management or something. And that could be one of the things that sort of turned you off. They want you to be back with them. They want you to, they feel like you have a lot of options. They want you all to reconnect again, but you could be looking at this, but they also feel like they don't have a lot to offer you. Like they don't have a lot to bring to the table and you have other options, Pisces. And they just kind of feeling like, you know, like you just like are looking at them as somebody who isn't good with time or they're not good with their money or something or their energy is off or something. And so they don't see you really wanting to give them that that second chance or something and then we have the hang one so pisces you could be very hesitant so busy focusing on other things in your life your attention it looks like you're distracted it really does this person could be right that you are distracted with something else that is going on in your life you're really not as focused on them as you were before like that energy isn't the same or something like something was maybe when you all first got together like you were so wrapped up into them you had given them a hundred percent of yourself and you know you were focused on them things didn't work out you all went your separate ways and then the next thing you know you know this person somehow or some some way they came back into your life but it looks like they just kind of feel like they don't measure up and you could be feeling like that they do not like something about their time or their finances or something is not in order and then they look at you as having a lot of options and like you're just not focused on them they're one of many that's how they look at them at you where you're just more so reflecting on what is going on in your life um and just trying to like plan your next move so you could it doesn't look like your attention is really on this person it looks like you're focused more on what your next move is going to be that could be just spirit like you could be on a spiritual journey you could be on a um career journey something else that you are focused on you're not really focused on this person a lot and this person does feel left out in the cold you could have helped this person out a lot giving them a lot of your energy your time even finances and they just kind of feel like now you're being cold with them that you're not really helping them maybe they burnt some sort of bridge with you that they, I guarantee you they're regretting now. So if you were very giving, loving, kind, always having a cup to give to this person, you know, making them feel like they were your only option, and then they got sort of big headed and cocky with it or whatever, and then you could have retreated and pulled back. Things crashed and burned. That's what it looks like. That's just the energy that I'm getting. And then you all, this person kind of like sort of want to come back in, be a little romantic, you know, try to rekindle some things, offer you a cup of love. And it just looks like they, they, you are not reciprocal of that energy that they right now. You're, it's just, it just looks like you're in a different place. It looks like you're in a different mind frame. Your heart is in a different place, and so you're giving off the energy that you just have too many other options. You're really not focused on them right now. Um, but I just see you really like doing your thing and to like focusing on the spirit. You're on a spiritual journey or like some sort of you're focused on something else. Your attention is elsewhere, Pisces. It's not on this person. And this person really feels left out in the cold now. You could have, like I said, it looks like you they they could have been very bad with their money or something. Um and it left them in a bad position where you were helping them out of binds, maybe that you were helping them financially in some way um, or giving them some sort of like encouragement or like really good information of how to get out of like bad situations. And they did not listen or they took it for granted or something. They were unappreciative of the energy and the time and, you know, all of that that you were investing into them. So you pulled back Pisces, which Pisces are known to do. Um, and now this person was hoping that you all, there would be like a part two to 
you know, this romance that you all had at one time and it's just not there. I don't see like I, this person just feels really left out in the cold. They just feel like that energy that you were giving at first is just not there. Um, and they really do look at you like they don't measure up to you or something, Pisces. So you could just be doing very well for yourself. And they are just feeling like they're trying to catch up or like they just like, look at me, Pisces, look at me. You know, they don't want to feel like they're one of many. They want you to like really focus mainly on them and let cut out all the other options. The eight of um, the eight, we have the eight of wands. So... They, you could be more in that energy of, you know, I want to leave hard times behind. I don't want to, but this person is, they feel like you're stuck on thinking about what happened, like how they made you feel, what they did. Um, and you all are sort of like, just not really getting anywhere. Um, sort of like that energy where it's, if it's upright, it's like, you know, you're moving on to a new journey. You're, you know, trying to do other things. You're, you know, you're sort of like getting away from the nonsense and you're protecting your energy, you're protecting your thoughts, you know, you're just, you're focused more on what you want. Whereas this person, but but since it's, it's in reverse, your person is really looking at it like you are just not that into them. Like you're just not the giving them that energy that you used to give. And so they feel like you all are sort of like stuck. And then we have the nine of pentacles, but it's in reverse Pisces. You have a lot of reversals on this. And so you could just be focused more on that independence where if this person want to be independent. They want, they don't want to have to really depend on you, but they, and they also feel like now they can't depend on you. They, they've messed it up so bad that they can't depend on you because they were indecisive. They were, they had Pisces, they had other options at first and they were trying to make you feel like they didn't know what to do. They were blind. They were blindfolded. They didn't see the good in you at first or what you were really bringing to the table and they regret that now. Um, they don't want to have to depend on you, but Pisces, this person could really need you for something right now and they're not telling you the truth about why they are back. They need something from you, Pisces. Mm. So we have, then we have the nine of swords that came out upright. We have the tower card that came out upright and we have the ace of swords that came out upright. So Pisces, this person was really doing a lot of stuff and this person, this is, and now it makes sense where, while you're, why you are not in that energy where you really want to help them. This person could be, this person could have put you in a tower moment before when they mistreated you and disregarded your feelings or something and now and they could have had you like this before but Pisces I get the energy that this is where they are now they're up at night they're crying they're feeling alone they're feeling you know sort of like they things are sort of like crashing and burning around them things aren't going well for them they're just in that limbo of you know how are things going to progress they want things to progress with you all Pisces but they just really feel like that you're just not in that energy anymore that where you used to be and that they were very cold and cut cutthroat and heartless towards you and wanted a new beginning with someone else they were very indecisive or how they could move you know they weren't even trying to give you all the love and attention that you were trying to give them and so now when you pull it back and and they it could have like I said in another reading it took you leave for them to realize how much they would miss you or how much they love you and things now they're trying this person could have recently come back around trying to talk to you trying to have some sort of like a connection with you and things just did not pan out the way that they thought it was they thought that they would want to come back and you know you were going to go right back to that giving loving making sure that they had all your time energy and attention and you just did not give them that you were like um no i did that the first time and look how it turned out <laughs> Not this time, buddy, oh, bro, oh, pal. And so I don't see you think, I don't see you really like putting that energy in to this connection like you were before. And so you could just be giving them, you know, a little small talk on the phone, a little simple conversation here and there. Nothing major like how it used to be where you went out of your way to see them or spend time with them or give them, you know, something like your time, your energy, possibly even your money. It looks like this person is really suffering financially they're going through a lot financially and they need your help Pisces but they don't they're not going to tell you um 
With the Two of Pentacles, things are very off balance in their life right now, Pisces. Your person's life is off balance for some reason. Something is off and they are literally watching you. They are watching you to see like what's going on in your life. Um, are you... You know, really have, do you really have all these other choices, all these other options and things like that? Are you, you know, why aren't you like just falling head over heels to be back with them back, you know, showing them all this love that you used to show them? Why aren't you doing that? You know, they just feel like it's somebody else there and they could have asked you like, Pisces, are you in a new relationship? Are you with somebody? Just because they don't feel that same love that you had for them before, all the things you were doing for them before. You know, they don't feel that anymore. Something about a cord was cut, Pisces. This person could have hurt you so deeply that when you when you were in this energy here, crying and like stressed out and crying, night, it's almost like you washed when the, it's like when you your tears were coming out, you were slowly but surely washing them out of your system. And you cut some sort of cord, some sort of connection that even they can feel now that that bond isn't there. Like that same connection isn't there the way it used to be. And it's the hermit mode. Um, I mean, they they were in hermit mode um, where they felt like, you know, they were trying to reflect on what they did to you. They know that they what they did was really wrong. Um, and they want to, they, this person could have apologized to you and was like, you know, um, I'm sorry for everything that I did to you. Whatever I did wrong, I'm sorry. You know, I apologize. It will never happen again. This person really is, a, they're deep down inside. They're sorry for what they did, but it's because they are in a situation where they realize how badly they screwed up and they are afraid of their karma. They could be facing a serious tower moment that they were not expecting to face um, after they did this to you and where you were here at one time, now they're here. Um, they feel like somebody else is offering you a cup of love though, Pisces. They feel like you're, you're giving somebody else your time, attention, and energy and you were in hermit mode in that spiritual you know just sort of like all by yourself not thinking you know just just sort of feeling alone this that and the other and this person didn't care they could have had a lot of other people around them you know where they just felt like the king or the queen of their domain and they didn't care that you felt alone and you wanted their time you wanted their attention and so now they're in hermit mode now they're sort of alone right and then we have the knight of pentacles so this person the energy that i'm getting pisces is this person really do feel like you have another option that's better than them? They do. They really feel like you have another option that's better than them. You have with the nine of, um, of um, wands, this person is doing a lot of spying. They're doing a lot. This could be a, 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 um, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could also be like a Capricorn or a Taurus, a Virgo. This could also be um, an air sign, an Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. Um, and this can also be an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. So we have all the signs out here. And it looks like um, with this spine, it's this this constant spine. It looks, I'm gonna be honest with you, Pisces. It looks like it's more than one person. This looks like more than one scenario, too. I'm just getting that energy. Like you could have cut a number of people off. And so you have it looks like you have an Aries or a few fire signs spying on you. And you or in like uh also I see an Aquarius. Um, in a Libra, like really spying on you, trying to get information on you. Um, because they, they, they know that they did something that was very wrong, that was very low. And they didn't think about what they were doing at the time that they were doing it. And so that you're, they totally disregarded your feelings, Pisces. And so it looks like with the seven of swords, you no longer trust them. Um, they know that they burnt, they burnt that bridge of, you know, you ever trusting them. You can't, you don't feel like you can really, you have to, you feel like you always have to watch your back when they're around, um, that you can't quite put your swords down and just like be, you know, jovial and, and, and just in, in open with them. You feel like you have to be on defense with these people. 
And then with the Ten of Wands, yeah, Pisces, it's a lot of spying. They're spying on you a lot. Um, these people could literally be in that energy where they're like spying on you, like on your job. They could be trying to find out like something about your finances. They could be trying to find out something about like where you work or something like that, or like talk to somebody on your job to find out how much you're getting paid, like what your salary or, or hourly rate is or something. Um, the high priest is, yeah, they're trying to get information. They're trying to go to like somebody, an authoritative figure to get some sort of like information. This could also be somebody who is just, they're studying you, Pisces, like heavily. They're studying the way you move. They're studying the way, you know, like where your income is coming from. Um, they're really trying to get every piece of information about you as possible so they can make like some sort of like that and they could be getting information and instead of them like like it, I don't see you really like doing anything like like really wrong or like illegal or anything but they're like when they speak to other people about your situation or what they find out they're put they're projecting it in a negative tone though they're projecting it in a negative way but it's because they are so damaged and hurt because they're facing some real serious power moments but it's their karma that they're facing because of what they did to you and it looks like they did something to others too um but they really messed you over Pisces they did a number on you and so now they are they could have come back like oh Pisces I love you and I miss you and this that and the other you all that trust is gone it is like they burned every possible bridge that they could burn with you um you could have gave this person seven different chances of coming back you could have known them for seven years. You could have, you know, I mean, something about you just kept giving them chance after chance and every chance they got, they burnt you. And now you're just like, no, no way. And so then we have the nine of swords. Yeah, this, I mean, Pisces, there was a lot of conflict, a lot of, there's a lot of spying, um, but they feel really guilty. And I, like I said, this is more than one person. Like I see an ex spying on you. I also see a group of people spying on you um, just because they did something really low to you um, as a group though. And they didn't treat you. They didn't see you as human or something like, so they just treated you in some sort of way, like they abuse their power in some way. This could have been career related. This could have been somebody like uh, with this high priestess. This could have been someone in the community um, who was like on some sort of like high status or something who used their, their, um, their power or something or some sort of knowledge that they had to try to like encourage other people to treat you very badly Pisces and just not, they weren't looking at you when they were speaking about you. It wasn't even in like they were speaking about a human being. It was like they were speaking about an animal. So every vow um negative label that they could put on you they could have possibly put that on you pisces and people who don't even know you started looking at you in a negative way based on what this group was saying or what your ex was saying or something and with the queen of wands this person is very sneaky this could be an aries um or somebody with like oh this could be a um an aries or a um a sagittarius or a leo but like these people, I mean, really, really sneaky, spying, like doing everything that they possibly can to get information about you. Like, I mean, I even see like following you or something and they could have numerous people at numerous places, like trying to follow your every move. They want to know where you work. They want to know where you live. Are you truly happy in your life? Are you sad? Are you facing, uh, you know, are you, how are you doing after everything that they've done to you? Like are you surviving or are you truly living like these these people are just like they're so obsessed with you Pisces and I don't even see that they know what they don't even it's almost like they can't even comprehend why they're so obsessed with you um they just gotten used to doing it and they've gotten used to just always being like judging you or being in your business or something. They don't know how to mind their business. Like they feel like your business is their business. And so they just don't know how to mind their business. Um, 
yeah pisces and then on the bottom we have the four of pentacles again and the, but it's upright so pisces you could just be making better decisions with yourself like not focusing on what these people are doing you're so busy focusing on you while they are busy focusing on you um and so but it looks like you have somebody an uh, ex who is really stalking you and like watching your every move it also looks like you have another group of people this could be a group of women this could be a um and where there's one man or two men involved or this could be um, a group of men where there's one or two women involved but they are really like really watching you heavy pisces because they want to see um are you really happy in your life and they also want to know like about your income like i said they could have gone to somebody like on your job, like your supervisor or something and found out how, like your supervisor could have released information that they shouldn't have released or either this person is in some sort of like position where they got, they got, they found out how much you make or something, something about your income they found out and they shared it with people who they shouldn't have shared it with. Like they, 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 they get your information. Like, so this could be like a government worker. This could be somebody in your community who, um, maybe you volunteered with or something about them getting close to you or getting your information and then they're releasing it to people um, without your knowledge. So they're keeping your enemies updated on your life um, just to be malicious. You know, this, this, these people like really like and Pisces, you could just it looks like you're so busy focused on just pr prospering and doing your thing. You're not even like putting your energy um towards these like you're not even facing what these people are doing or like your ex or something it looks like your ex is sort of jealous or or angry over the fact that you do like you have other options now you're not focused on them because they're facing a tower moment they want you to come and save them um but they they left they were heartless when you were facing a tower moment they were completely heartless toward you. Like, oh, I don't care. Let Pisces die. Let 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 Pisces, you know, hope I hope they cry every day. I hope I like these people and or your ex was just heartless when it came to you. Um and they didn't care about the damage of what they they literally tried to do as much damage to you as possible. And now they are in a place where they are like going through something in their life um your ex could be going through like i said a lot of financial woes and so they want to come back because they want you to save them again and you could just be like uh-uh or there's something about this group of people like i said this this could be aries who came back in your life or sagittarius or because it's a number of people leos or something like that somebody who came back into your life or um and they just really want to get some information um, they were looking for you to save them or help them or something in some way after they were the ones who or sort of like put you in this bad situation and you could have gotten out of it yourself without any help. And once they saw you get out of this situation, they decided to slither back into your life. Um, think and because now they're going through something and, and they thought that you were supposed like you owe them something. You you probably owe them a swift kick in the ass. <laughs> Let's just keep it 100. But um but you chose to take the high road in something, Pisces, and you didn't give them the energy that they wanted. So you could have just said, well, no, I can't help anyone right now. Um, and these people were furious. They treated you, they were heartless in how they treated you. And they had the audacity to think that you, they threw your life off balance, something terrible with what they did. Um, and so they have the audacity to think that they have the right to even come back and you should help them. Like the fact that you even gave them a second of your time was way too much Pisces. Um, so they're going to come back, see if they can get some help from you. Once they see that they can't get what they want, they're going to slither back off again. Um, these people aren't, I don't see them staying around long. They're just trying to see what they can get because they saw you dug yourself out of a hole that they all grouped up and put you in. Um consenting yeah so they 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 this looks like there was you know a ringleader and everybody else just sort of like went along with it um consenting adults so they chose this route my nose always itch when i do these readings um they chose this route to go against you like this pisces um this was what they wanted 
they weren't made to do this. They chose this route, um, but they're dealing with some, some real issues um, from them being heartless towards you like that. Um, no one, no one made them do this. They chose to go this route with you. Um, so yeah, decay. So any, any sort of chance that you all had to rekindle anything, it's like rotted away. Like they, they are rotten to the core too. Some of these people could pretend like they're really good in the community on the outside, but it on the inside, they are rotten to the core. They are. Um, they're heartless and they're rotting. And and they are like, you know, this this isn't just a, a regular group of people. These are people who like literally get their self in certain positions just so they can do the most damage to other people. So that's why I say they could be government work or somebody or, or somebody who's like working in the medical field or somebody who's working in law enforcement. Somehow, some way they're getting information about you, Pisces, and they're spreading it. And they're spreading it to people who don't even need to know it. They're just doing it to be mean. Um, and that's and they're stalking you too. So yeah, just I mean, like really, the Pis Pisces. It looks like you're really just focused on you. You're focused on doing you in your life and another life. Yeah. So these people could really want to. Um, see things like prosper between you all you could be like not in this lifetime uh-uh not after what y'all did to me no way so in another life maybe not in this lifetime and that and that's what this is what i can see you telling your ex to like we will never be back together again in this lifetime like maybe in another lifetime but not in this lifetime and then the last card was the lost boys i don't know if you all know about this movie but it was the movie of a bunch of vampires um who were just you know living like going around collecting victims and things like that um and they were young guys who just would never die. They were they were blood suckers. They suck the life out of people, and that's what I see. These people are as blood suckers. Um, they're lost. They're lost souls roaming the earth, looking to devour. And that's what they could have tried to do to you, Pisces. That's why they were so heartless, and that's why you know they decayed on the inside. They're rotten on the inside. Um, and so Pisces, they really are just like damaged goods. They're lost. And so they wanted to basically suck the life out of you with all that they were doing. And they got other people to consent and, and help them out and do this. But Pisces, you rose above it. And now you're focusing on you. And I love that. Stay focused on the positive. Stay focused on healing, doing what you have to do in your life and getting ahead, Pisces. Um, and these people are literally decaying from the inside out and taking care of themselves. So you don't even have to worry about it. Um, that's the end of the reading. I love you. I'm sending you nothing but positive energy. Let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. Um, and I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. <laughs>